Hey, what's up guys? Grasshopper here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be an Overwatch guide on how to use Mercy. So it's going to be a remade guide. After all of the changes they've done to Mercy, I'm finally going to make a video because I don't feel Blizzard is going to make any more changes to Mercy anytime soon at least. So let's get right into this. Mercy is a support hero. She has low power, 200 health, she is medium mobility hero, and then according to the Overwatch wiki, she is a one star hero, which means she is low difficulty to use. So let's move on to her weapons. Mercy has a Caduceus Blaster. This is Mercy's only way to deal damage, so I felt like going over it first, even though you won't be using it much. You will almost always be healing and damage boosting your team, but you can pull out her blaster at any time to do a surprising amount of damage. Make sure to go for headshots. Her blaster shoots fast moving projectiles that do a flat damage of 20 per shot, no matter the range, and it has 20 rounds of ammo and reloads in one second. Mercy's other weapon is the Caduceus Staff. It has two support modes, Healing Beam and Damage Boost Beam. Now technically this isn't a weapon, but this is what you'll be using the most as Mercy, so I wanted to talk about it before her abilities. You can switch between two different beams to support one ally at a time. Both beams will lock onto a teammate within line of sight to a maximum of 15 meters away. The healing beam does 60 healing per second, and the damage boost beam will give a 30% damage boost to that teammate. Mercy's abilities are on your screen now. Her ultimate is Valkyrie and this is where Mercy enhances her weapons and abilities for 15 seconds. This is Mercy's new ultimate, and it does a whole lot, so take some notes. Mercy can fly through the air a little faster than walking speed, so like you can move in any direction you want. If you heal or damage boost teammates, the beam will chain to other close teammates, and the beams have an upgraded max range of 30 meters. Her blaster doesn't have to be reloaded, so you can do a lot of DPS, but I'd recommend healing and damage boosting. The Guardian Angel ability also has increased range to almost 50 meters, and finally her passive ability that heals her isn't stopped by taking damage, so she's always healing herself. This ultimate makes Mercy really strong and hard to kill, but it's still possible to die, so don't ever extend. You can either keep supporting your team with massive amounts of heals, or boost their damage so they can wipe the enemy team. Or you can pull out her blaster and fly to the enemy team's backline to take out their supports. You can still resurrect teammates when using this ultimate, but the res still has a cast time and this will make you vulnerable during your ultimate. Mercy's first ability is Resurrect. This used to be Mercy's old ultimate ability. Mercy can revive a dead teammate with this ability, and it has a cooldown of 30 seconds, and it's also a single target ability. Mercy has to be within 5 meters of your dead ally, and there's a cast time of 1.75 seconds. While resing an ally, Mercy's movement speed is reduced by 75%, and if she is stunned or knocked back by an enemy, the res will cancel and go on cooldown. You have to choose wisely on who and when to res, and I recommend tanks because of their bigger health pool when they're resurrected. Mercy is not a res bot anymore, so you want to focus on healing and staying alive more than reviving teammates. As you can only resurrect one teammate every 30 seconds, and it has that cast time, it's just a very dangerous ability to use, and you only want to use it if a teammate is killed from a ranged ability like a Widowmaker headshot. Mercy's next ability is Guardian Angel. This is Mercy's movement ability. It's where she flies toward a targeted ally to support them or escape danger for herself. You want to look at a teammate and use this ability to fly to them at 20 meters per second. It has a max range of 30 meters, except almost 50 meters while her ultimate is activated, and this ability cools down at 1.5 seconds. You can cancel this ability by pressing the button again if flying towards the teammate would put you in danger. Jumping near the end of the flight will give Mercy a slight speed boost and momentum is conserved, so you actually gain a ton of mobility with this ability. Mercy's next ability is kind of like a passive and it's called Angelic Descent. This is where Mercy can slow her falling speed whenever she wants with this ability. All you have to do is hold the jump button and you will slowly fall to the ground. Mercy has another passive ability as well and it's Regeneration. This is where Mercy regains 17 health per second after not taking damage for 3 seconds. When her ultimate is activated, this passive is always regenerating 17 health even if she's taking damage. This is basically how Mercy heals herself because all the supports in the game heal themselves one way or another. Now let's move on to Mercy's counters. Mercy doesn't counter any heroes in the game, but she counters team comps that try to get quick picks to win a team fight because she can res that ally if it's safe or pocket a teammate to constantly keep them alive during the fight. Mercy is weak against every hero, especially flankers, and needs to be protected by her teammates, but don't underestimate her blaster because she can fight her way out of some battles. So let's move on to the how to use Mercy. With this new Mercy, you need to always be playing within your team and never be hiding. If you're in trouble, ask your team for help and pull out her blaster to defend yourself. 
Always use Guardian Angel to change your position on the battlefield. Keep an eye on your weakest teammates and heal them up before tanks, because tanks can take more damage before dying. When everyone is healed up, damage boost the teammate that is doing the most damage to the enemy team, say like a Soldier 76, a Pharah, a Reaper. You want to try to stay on the high ground or float around in the air to stay away from the enemies. When an ally is picked off from range, you can res them immediately to get them back in the fight, but make sure it's safe to do so. Otherwise, you can hold on to the res and try to maybe revive a tank if they die later, as long as it's safe again. When the enemy team is using a couple of ults in a team fight, you want to pop your ultimate so you can heal your whole team and fly up to safety, then damage boost your team so they can kill the enemies. Make sure to resurrect any teammate that dies if you can safely do so, and pick the best hero, usually a tank. If the fight looks one for your team and you still have your ultimate, you can pull out Mercy's Blaster and go after the out of position enemies or stagger enemies if you want. Mercy's ultimate is very situational and will take a lot of practice to know exactly what to do during each time you use it because anything could happen. Remember it's always better to do a lot of different actions in a short time than just getting sucked into doing one action like healing. Most important of all, you need to be able to watch over your whole team to know where your support is needed. So Mercy is a very interesting character, she has a completely different playstyle from any other hero in the game. You need to be able to keep yourself alive by moving around erratically with Guardian Angel or floating through the air. You are very weak to getting dived, obviously, because you have really no defenses against anyone. So basically just use her mobility, heal the teammates at the right time, always be on the lookout for your other support to heal them or DPS because they have less health than the tanks. Obviously tanks can take more damage before dying. And like I said, if everyone's healed up, always do the damage boosting. And low level mercies don't do enough damage boosting, but trust me, a 30% damage boost does a whole lot. Overall, Mercy can be a very fun hero. Back in the Mercy meta, it wasn't fun if you were a support main to get forced into playing Mercy because she can be kind of boring, to me honestly, but it's very fun when you're outplaying the enemy and they're trying to chase you down and they can't catch you because you're flying all over the place. Mercy is definitely a beginner hero, I guess, for someone that hasn't played Overwatch or a first-person shooter in general because you can kind of just pocket a teammate to learn the game as you go. So she's a very good healer, she's a very good hero, and I mean everyone should try her out. If you haven't played Mercy and you've played Overwatch, I, I don't know honestly how you haven't played Mercy at all. You're almost always forced into that position at least once. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to play Mercy effectively. As always guys, I hope you all have a good day and goodbye.